Think fast, chuckle nuts! Hello everyone, Praise Codia, and think fast. It is Road Trip, Northern Mystery. What is Road Trip, Northern Mystery? Well, this one's kind of an odd pick for me to bring up in the first place, because this is actually <clears throat> a project that was put together by a friend of mine. A friend of mine and a couple of his colleagues, and this was actually his... Oh, he's gonna, I'm going to have to get a correction on this. It was part of his uh, final grade, or basically his final project for him graduating to become a game designer. So this is basically the test of everything he had learned at school. But, uh, starting off here, I'm just going to tell you, there's no options menu. It's a Unity Engine style game, so it it gives you the best it can for the it gives you the best options for the game based on what it thinks your computer can handle anyway let's just hop right in <clears throat> all i remember about this game is that it was it was toted as kind of what what my friend i'll just say will what my friend will was telling me when he put this together is that it's supposed to be kind of just a chill vibe time, like, just have fun. Not really super <clears throat> intense kind of game. This is crazy. One day I'm sitting at my desk, and the next I'm traveling to, in, through Northern California in a wild goose chase for my grandmother. What? Why would she send a letter with no return address if she wants me to visit her? Why would she just tell me to head to Reading with no specific location in mind? Too many questions. This will be a very interesting vacation. Can I even call it that? Good thing this car can drive itself on its own. <laughs> Just have to press the button, shift key, and the car will do its thing. While the car does its thing, maybe I should look around and enjoy the view. According to the manual, if, if I want more control of my car, I can just press the button, shift key, again, and then drive with wads. <clears throat> I'll just play around with the dashboard here on, the, on my right. Those arrows should switch to radio stations, if I remember the manual correctly. Let's get some lo-fi in here. Whoa. I can look at myself in the chair. Okay. Alright, so let's do a little bit of driving. This is kind of... Kind of similar to... Oh, boy. <clears throat> a little bit of a funky feel to it, if that makes sense. Then again, like I said, it is a kind of a high or not high school, a college project. I'm not expecting the greatest. The, whoa, the greatest thing. Actually, I kind of like this right now. My screen went dark and I got scared. I guess I had to pull. Nope. <laughs> Friend, hello. Busy. Why don't you go bother someone inside? I think you have a dead cat. Is your motor? I'm not going to be super critical on this appearance-wise. Again, this is just... This is like a presentation, final game kind of thing. Hello, friend. Okay, Hamter. Well, I'm going to go bother the very strange-looking rabbit. Oh, God. Hi. <clears throat> Come around here often? Oh, yeah. Playing with a pin in her jacket. It fell off on the floor somewhere. By the time I realized she was already gone, why don't you hold on to it and see if it helps? Do I have a... I have a pin? <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess I... I'm going to guess I have the pin. Unless he's sitting on it. Uh, I'll take a red. I can't take a red. Why can't I take a red? Bunny. Hello. Where are we exactly? See, <clears throat> the city lies along the Sacramento River, about 106 miles from North Sac Sacramento. Hey, have you seen anybody who wears this pin? Okay. <clears throat> okay, if you find any volcano names. Have you seen uh, my grandmother? Does this pin ring any bells? Something like searching volcanoes. Is there anything else you remember? 
Kind of foggy, maybe someone else has heard. Thank you. Okay, so I guess I need to... Before I go any further, I need to say, hey, does anybody know a thing about a volcano? Well, I don't want to bother anybody inside. I want to bother somebody around the backside. You! You, random NPC, do nothing. Unless he's actually supposed to be inside and it kind of bugged out a little bit. This is... Oh man, this is kind of, this is kind of neat. I, oh, ooh. oh. This is kind of neat, actually. I'm trying to, like, see if I can hit the guy through the wall. I'll see ya! Uh... Okay. Okay, so nothing about... I like how... Okay. Just my innate thing as playing games for so long. My innate thing playing games, I'm just... Uh... My innate thing playing games, I will go... As I will naturally go on objects. I never think that there's collision on little objects inside. And Sultan. Great, thank you. Now I get to ask this guy about... All right, what about those? Helps a lot, thank you, glad to help. Oof, okay. Was it any of those? Yes, okay, thank help, this thing helps a lot, thank you. Okay, so I guess that's everything. Potentially, I may have gone through the proper dialogue chain. E to get in car. Oh, now I have to talk to this person. Series of events, man. Triggers. Uh, I had the last one. Oh, so we got someone for a road trip. I guess the game is called Road Trip, is it not? Hitch a ride and... Oh, yep, there they are. Why change the pop? I want my lo-fi. Oh, there's a quit here. There's a quit option. Okay. All right, we're going into overdrive, my friend. Hold on to your butt. It's going to be a little bumpy. Actually, it kind of is. I'm like, I'm like need for speeding these corners. I, th I do think it's kind of nice where you can kind of, <clears throat> if you want to, you can let the game drive itself and admire the scenery. But if you want to go for, if you want to be more like proactive on it, you can drive the car. Also, I am weaving all over the road. This is me, by the way, weaving all over the road, not the game. You can tell by the car driving mode. Listen, I don't know how fast we're going, but we're going to... It was you. You pulled my ear. Can I go backwards? I can. Uh... Listen, I'm not going to pose any judgments. I'm not going to pose any judgment. I'm not expecting the greatest thing off of this. Can I talk with this guy while I'm here? No? Okay. Oh, apparently we've hit a turnoff point. Oh, a volcano. That's where we're stopping. Kind of has the, I mean, the basics of this kind of has like a, a, the making of, the making of just like a visual novel kind of game to it. Uh, I think this is my friend. Why are we, Woodbridge. Woodbridge suspended over lava. Good, there are collisions. Uh, I have this pin I want to show you. I'm hoping you maybe recognize symbol on it. I thought, your friend, you see you Viaggia. Zach Belarosa. <laughs> you guys are right along. Yes, we wanted a break. Looking for a grandmother. 
and I dropped it back at the gas station in Reading. Some of the nice folks there told me where we were headed. We take photos of people to come around here to share with the community. Do you recognize her in any of the recent photos that I have in hand? That last photo. I have my photograph that I need. Also, I'm going to continue to look around. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like this is this is kind of like a perf like a kind of a perfect chill game if that makes sense. But there was a reason why I wanted to play. There was two reasons why I wanted to experience this game. One, because for a friend, you know, for a friend, you know, go through. Go through something he and his colleagues have made to kind of explore, you know, explore what they put together a little bit. And two, just kind of say that if you're the kind of person who, like me, moons ago, was just like $5 for a game, that's way too expensive. This might be kind of up, up your, more up your alley. Because this is, this game I actually got from the itch.io site. A lot, can I look into this? No, I can't, but I can run off the mountain. I actually almost ran off the mountain. Alright, now I gotta test the fun part. Can I go into the volcano? What happens if I go into a volcano? Bonsai. Oh. Witness me! Witness my godlike powers! You're all putty in my hands! Okay, I'm glad the slopes are like this so I can actually try and get back. Kind of a fail-safe. Kind of a fail-safe in a sense for it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the other, like I said, the other thing, I, the, reason, the other reason why I wanted to vi uh, visit this game is not so much me, me myself, saying I'm going to branch out and looking at everything on itch.io, but just to say, to say that, hey, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg for every for a game. You can probably find some pretty unique gems just playing a game off of itch.io. I know a lot of people have like a lot of people in various communities have uh I'll go get Mr. Belros. Um you find you probably find a lot of hidden gems on the itch.io store and if you think you'll like it enough like for itch.io stuff, you can throw money to the creators of the games. Or don't. If you want, if you want to discuss this on the way back to to Reading, and I'll meet you at the car. Okay. Now that I've acquired you, I will take the most direct line of sight to the car. Did do we just sleep in the back of this car? Hello. Climb up the corporate ladder and eventually leave the company. Now, about your grandmother, back when I... Oh, I managed to click on this. Oops, this is not helping. Best instructor, she always put a smile on her guest face. How do you got back to... Uh, it's tough, actually. I got promoted to VP of Operations, and I haven't seen her since then. Uh, <clears throat> oh, this guy knows our... This guy knows her. All right, time to go into maximum overdrive. We're, we're driving, we're driving uh, European style today. I'm trying my best not to. We're drifting. Deja vu. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to turn this over. That's kind of interesting. I kind of like game, like this is kind of a nice ap approach to a game if that makes sense. Deja vu. I've been here in this place before. Higher on the streets. Okay, I managed to hit the one. I managed to hit the one. I managed to hit the one not solidly programmed area. Anyway, let's just do this. <clears throat> oh, actually, how do I keep doing that? Where I keep switching over to. I haven't had a chance to connect to anyone for a while. It was a pleasure. What? Uh, thank you. Do I just get back in the car? Or do I have to? Hello again. Hello again. 
But you do kind of, it is kind of nice to enjoy a game like this every now and again. That is just more laid back, kind of like a small, also because, okay, good. <laughs> also to, to just try and enjoy something that's a little more laid back and not constantly, and not like 300% action all the time. That's kind of why I wanted to, this is kind of why I wanted to play this, because I knew it was going to be kind of a chill time. Do you say, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm outside. There we go. Push the lift to get in. Hello. Alright, well, let's see if the game yells at me. E to get in? E to get in. Let's go. Like, I can think of a game. Um, I haven't played it myself. I know about a friend of mine, Tamal, played it. Uh, called A Short Hike. You know, the game has some action in it, but it's all about kind of a rompy time, having just kind of having fun, kind of having fun learning some some bits of story, and then kind of getting whammed direct in the face about something, about a big uh, <clears throat> unexpected development. I mean, I like. I mean, I'm gonna let the game take over and see what it does. Um, it's nice to play a game like this, every again, where the where there's no like three uh, always uh, always going action. Ooh, deja vu. I've been here in this place before. Okay. <clears throat> let's just let it let's just let it happen. I'm going to back up. I'm going to drive forward and turn. And with enough speed, we can turn this around. Okay, we're driving backwards now. I got it clipped here. <clears throat> backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Ready to, I'm ready to tip over. Okay. Okay, let me go backwards. Uh, I have a sinking suspicion. Oh, wait, no, I'm still moving slightly. Okay. Well, I, th I think I may have unintentionally broke the game by taking too much control. But hey, I think that boils down to a me problem and not the game's problem. Now I'm kind of unwedging myself. All right. But yeah, this was kind of just a little a little fun experiment with it all. So let's head back to the main menu. So I'll put a I'll put a link to the itch.io page for this in the in the description of this video, so you guys can kind of get a feel for it yourself. If you want to if you want, so you don't have to. You can support the developers of the game if you want to. And like I said, this was a college, a major college project for them. So. Take that at what you will for any reason. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of a nice vibe. Kind of a uh, low energy vibe kind of game. Which you need some of every now and again. And Which you need some of every now and again when you're playing games for so long. You need something that's more vibe and not so much shoot everything. I think I think if I go, if I hit return, the driver's going to be off on the uh, off on the curb. Yep. Hey, look. That's, that was us ten, a minute ago. Anyway. Repeating myself, you want to try this game out yourself, it's in the description for the HIO page. Support them, get, you can you can choose to give a little money to the to the developers, or you can choose to let it be. But I'm going to let you end it off here. Thank you so much for watching the Sinister Reactions to Road Trip, and I hope you'll come back again when I'll react to a brand new title for the very first time. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.